Louis Thomas. Louis Tom. Louis drops an album. Louis, like that one. That Louis. Yes, that one. <laughs> hey, babes, what is up? How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm well. We're listening to Louie today. And that's why I feel so smiley because Louie makes me smiley because Louie gives me more comfort like than anybody else in the world. I don't know, listening to a Louie Tomlinson song is just like a big hug, that's what it is. I think this album's gonna be significantly different in terms of the vibe from the first one, just based on the singles that we've heard so far. I've only heard Bigger Than Me and Out Of My System. I have not heard Silver Tongues yet. Out Of My System, dude, literally hearing that song for the first time was like, living my entire life in two and a half minutes. But today, yeah, we're gonna listen to all of them. The first song that we are listening to right now is called The Greatest, The Greatest. We know, Louis. you don't have to tell us, we already knew. I feel like we're gonna start off upbeat, kind of like Kill My Mind, right? Right, it's gonna be like a good, fun, upbeat vibe to start, mm-hmm. Oh, okay, he said, he said, hoo-hoo, <laughs> okay. The fuck is, hold on. I love this production. I love this. Tell you I'm on my way. Nothing can make me late. Ooh. Together we're the greatest. Who is he? Wait, no, I love the production. Are we joking? What is that? Dancing in the dark. Dancing in the dark. We're dancing in the dark back to the very start. This this is so much more intense than his last album, and I love it. Mm. Ooh, get, ooh, give me an outro. Louis Thomas, give me an outro. Wait, can we talk for a second? Can we have a conversation? I think this is my favorite of the three songs. I think it might be. I don't know. The intro to this song is so good. It like gets you ready to go. I was like, oh, Louis, okay, I'm listening. Oh! No, that, that goes deep. Dude, that goes deep. I'm in a dude phase right now. Please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tell you I'm on my way. <gasps> Nothing can make me lay. And then the lay. I think that's my favorite song, she says on the first track. Is this about the return of a, a long lost love? Is that what this is about? Back dancing in the dark, back to the very start, finding pieces that can fit, we can hope for what we miss. And then later it's, it's you and me until the end, life for us is never over. So it sounds like the resurgence of a past love, a past love just showing up and being like, whoop. And then you're like, oh yeah, we're good. I love this song. This was specifically written as a tour opener, not necessarily an album opener at the time. Musically, it's interesting. What does that mean? There's probably not another song like it on the record. Louis. It starts the album with a statement of intent, which I think is important. There's a certain ambitious level to that. I don't know. Sure, I guess, but um, I just love it. So that's that's all I needed to know. What's next? As always, the uncut version of this album reaction will be over on Patreon if you guys want to check it out. There's also a ton of other exclusives over there. I've got a couple Louis concerts that we've watched over there, which were so much fun and very emotional just because I'm me, I guess. But it's also a really great way to help support the channel. You can get the exclusives. I'm sending you guys postcards. You can get these shout outs down here. It's just, you know, it's fun. We have fun over there. If you don't want to though, that's totally fine. But thank you so much to everyone who has gone over there already without you guys i wouldn't be able to do this so thank you so so damn much and let's keep going written all over your face is next Ooh, <laughs> what is written all over your face my face his face their face her face i don't know <laughs> oh my god there's such a dark feel to this whole fucking album between the four songs okay i'm not gonna be able to sit today No, no, stop that. Not hate. No, I don't like it. I love it. Oh! I do, though. Oh, not the silent treatment. Oh, shit, I don't know. What do I do with this one? Remember when I said the last one was my favorite? LOL. 
says, babe. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, he announced the North American tour dates yesterday. I was like, Caitlin, you're not getting tickets. Like, just, just like, let it go. Don't even think about it. Like, it's not happening. And now I'm... I need it to happen though. I didn't think this man could beat walls, but here we are and I cannot with him right now. Like, I feel like you could say he's done rock before, but this is so much more rock than his last album and I fucking am so here for it. Obviously the song is about when you're kind of like in this state of tension with your partner. You're giving me that silent treatment, don't know what it's achieving. I mean, it doesn't achieve shit. <laughs> Ever. When we're finished saying nothing, can we please get back to loving? When it's good, it's really something. Can we please get back to us? Oh, oh, I love that section. And then the way he says, hey, babe, is amazing. And the fact that it, the song opens like that and it just, you're just not ready. For, you're not ready for him to be like, hey, babe. And then he does it. We're gonna listen to Bigger Than Me next. Did you guys know about that song? I heard that song. Did you guys see I was in that like, that compilation of reactors for the Bigger Than Me thing? Me and Steven were in it. Did you guys see that? I lost my shit. Hey, babe. You know what? I haven't had the chance to actually watch the Bigger Than Me music video. So you guys wanna watch that? Yeah? Okay. I'm genuinely having the best time this morning. Like I feel really relaxed and really chill and just really excited and happy to be here. Woo! Louis, that's your foot, I think. I'm guessing that's your foot. If it's not, is that you? Yeah, that makes sense. Wait, why is he holding that log? Oh, he's gonna go add it to the fire. Soon as the world outside of real life, and it's bigger than me. So oh. come on, call me he got another one. When somebody told that looks like the album cover. It's not, but it like reminded me of the album cover. Loki a little bit. I don't know why. Wait, I want to see him live, guys. I'm not gonna be able to get tickets. I'm not gonna. No, I'm not even gonna entertain the idea. That is such a beautiful. Oh, that is so pretty. Shut up. You're in like this giant empty landscape and you feel so small. He's just gonna sit there with the little fire that he built. That's so cute. Look at him, look at him. Oh, <gasps> Jet Black Art. Um. You saw me hit cancel. I didn't ask for this. I didn't. I don't know who that is. I've never seen that man in my life. Listen, I do love that song, but now hearing the first three tracks, like back to back to back, I think I like the other two better, which is kind of wild because I loved that song and now we have the other two and the other two are so good and it's like, holy shit. Oh, next song is called Lucky Again. <laughs> it's upbeat again. Is this whole album upbeat like that? Ooh, oh wait, that's cute. It's difficult. If you could be lucky again. We were lucky once I could be lucky again. Before the time it got away from us. I mean the hell was that? If you believe that guy is Superman, the selling tickets at the cinema. I love that couplet. But you figured it out. figured it out and I love you for that. So at first, like I wasn't really vibing with this one that much, but when you really pay attention to that chorus, like I love it lyrically. The line, you figured it out and I love you for that, could mean two different things. One, it could be directly relating to I'm a hard man to find, but you figured it out and I love you for that, like you, you came back to me kind of a thing. Or it could mean you figured yourself out and I and I love you for being out, for you being able to figure out yourself like I am still in the process of doing and maybe when we both figure ourselves out, we can come back together. Does that make sense? Because this song does feel like like, like the first song, Resurgence of Old Love, coming back to an old love. We were lucky once, we could be lucky again. We could, basically, is, is that not saying we could try again? Let's give this another shot. This one's cute. Again, it's not my favorite song, but I do think it's really cute. Next song we're getting into is called Face the Music. Why does that make me think of Lemonade now? I don't know what, like that's where my brain just, I'm, I'm sorry. 
Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that just, that just went back and forth. Oh, I love that shit so much. Oh, okay. Okay. Stories made up when we're young to Oh, okay. Oh, I love that. I want to stay in the moment the rest of my life. I don't want to face the music, but I still want to dance with you. Wait, that is cute. I want to be in this moment and live in this moment and live in the moment in the sense that like, I want to forget the world because I don't want to face reality. I just want to be here with you. Oh. I love the I still wanna dance with at the end of every chorus. Okay, this one's cute. That feeling when you, you know, feel so comfortable and, and just right with somebody, but you know in reality it's probably not gonna work or whatever. Wow, the first verse though, good and bad and right and wrong. A story's made up when we're young to scare us. Love and hate are in between, depends on your reality to see them. Wow, like influenced at a young age to believe certain things that you no longer believe, but you look back now and you, yeah. Oh wait, the first verse is gonna make me cry when I think about it too much. Next, we're listening to a song called Chicago, and I'm kind of curious if this is gonna be like a very specific like event that happened in his life that occurred in Chicago, or, or if he just likes Chicago, I don't know. I've been to Chicago only like one time in my life, actually. I've been to that airport about a billion times in my life, but no one cares. I thought it was gonna be upbeat. I really truly did. What is this? So you had a baby, did you? Use any of the names we lie. And is your brother doing okay? Is he still getting out of fights? I'm sorry that your mom don't like me. I'm sorry that I brought that on my son. The fuck? I thought this was gonna be upbeat. I genuinely, truly believe this was gonna be an upbeat song. I saw you had a baby, did you? Use any of the names we like? Oh wait, who is this song about? It's not my business, but like, I'm also curious. Sorry, your mom don't like me. I'm sorry that I brought that on myself. Ow! If you're lonely in Chicago, I was ready to fucking bop, and he said no. This one is, it's so painful in the sense that like, there's an acceptance to the fact that this, you know, it just wasn't meant to be, but there's so much pain behind that too. Clearly he's admitting to his own mistakes. Your mom didn't like me, I'm sorry I brought that on myself, and then, has it been long enough that you can forgive me? Just because it didn't work doesn't mean it's meaningless to me, it just wasn't meant to be. Dude, not the line. You always made me feel much better and I'll always be grateful for that. Oh, that hurts my stomach. I don't know. This song just hurts me. This just feels bad. Like all around, it just feels bad. I don't like the experience of listening to this song, but I also love it at the same time, so. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. The next song we are getting into is a song called All This Time. It's like It's 
the way we see ourselves through walls of trees. We were talking about mountains and stuff too. Guys, I, I love this one. I mean, either this is a fan favorite or it's being drastically overlooked right now. I love the sound of this. It's It's got like a much more like laid back, calm kind of feel to it, but I love it. The truth is you still doubt the two pre-choruses are both I and you. Oh, oh, oh! The way he goes into the chorus with the when it gets cold. I fucking love the instrumental on this. Oh, oh, okay, wait, that's my song, that's my song, that's my song, that's my song. It's weird because like this production, it's like very much the same throughout and it's nothing like new, but it feels new. Something about this production with his voice it has a little bit of like a, a distant kind of sound to it, a little faded almost. I don't know, I can't explain the way this song makes me feel. It's the way he goes into the chorus from the pre-chorus when he says, when it gets cold. Like, oh, something about that is so good. Why is that so cool? Oh, I love this song. Oh my god, no, I love this. I actually, honest to god, don't know what it's about. Um, I really don't, but I love the way it feels and the way it sounds. I did notice that he takes the pre-chorus, like the two pre-choruses, and you know, in the first one it's I keep building mountains, the second one is you keep building mountains, and he does say in the second verse, our eyes meet, and I can tell that you're the same as me. It's the way we see ourselves through walls of trees, and then those two pre-choruses are the I and you perspectives being exactly the same, which is kind of cool. But I love this one. I'm gonna tweet about it. Um, did anybody ask me to tweet about it? No. Oh, next is Out of My System. Is there a music video for this? Because if there is, we can watch that. <laughs> I love this song. <laughs> like, I, like, like, are you kidding me? Oh, it's so red. I only want to go faster towards disaster every time. Me too. Gotta get it out of my system. The instrumental on this song is unreal. I feel like the theme of this album, the color for this album is clearly red. What is walls? I always kind of associated walls with green, but I don't know why. There's no green on the album cover. Oh, this part right here is so good. It's so short, but it's so, like, I just love this right here. I wish it, like, went on longer. Gotta get it out of my system. Gotta get it out of my system. <laughs> He's so cute. Yeah. Oh, wait, don't, don't kick the drum. Don't kick the drum. Don't do that. Yeah, that song's a bop, but we already knew. The next song we're listening to is called Headline. I'm, I'm feeling hopeful song, maybe? Sometimes I wake up and I hear you through the silence. Quick to kill forever. Quick to kill forever. You used to read me like a headline. So many reasons now you're not Oh, read me like a headline. I get it. I guess I never knew we'd have the shortest forever. All the shortest forever. It's probably one of my least favorites as of right now. I need more time with this one. It like didn't grab me like a lot of the other ones did. Oh, okay, the next song is Saturday. Now it's weird because this is gonna sound really dumb, but the connection I make here is, does anyone else watch Criminal Minds? First of all, it's coming back in like two weeks, which is wild, but there's an episode called Saturday. And that's what I think of when I see this title, which is really stupid. Don't tell me it's gonna be a sad song. I, I don't think that's what it should be. Somebody's got your trainers on, the ones that you wore. When you walked out the door. Stop, shut up. We always used to say, Saturdays take the pain away. Nobody stays the same. Through my cigarette, the shadow of you sinks me to the carpet. Try to ignore it. Oh, visuals. Okay. Something about the way the light catches the mirror in my brain. This right egg gives me shame. This right egg, Louis, shut up. Oh, the 
the song to not good for me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Wait, dude. I love this one. Let it break your heart. Take the pain away. That song just feels heavy. My favorite part of the song. I love the whole song. Um, in case that wasn't clear. Through my cigarette, a shadow of you sticks me to the carpet. I fucking love that. Try to ignore it. Something about the way the light catches the mirror in my brain. It gives me shade. What the fuck? And I love like lyrics like somebody's got your trainers on the ones you wore when you walked out the door. You know, I see this, this thing that reminds me of you and all that pain comes back again. But then the bridge being my heart might be broken. Broken, but I won't be broken down. Obviously, it makes me think of Don't Let It Break Your Heart. It's just like working through that pain and, and knowing that it hurts and it sucks, but you gotta just keep pushing through it. And, and go. Oh, mm. <laughs> Ah! The next song is, oh, Silver Tongues is next. Okay, because this song came out, I don't know if it was yesterday, the day before or whatever, when I decided I'd just wait for the album. So yeah, Silver Tongues. I don't know what Silver Tongues is. I have a feeling that is like a thing that I just don't know what, whatever. Getting high on the amber wave. What do you mean it's a piano? I'm not soaked when you smoke or in my eye Biologic and empty cans Oh, you're giving me visuals I know nobody understands Ooh. Me like you do Aww. Oh. You know it sounds like these We're so much happier Nights like these We'll remember those stupid jokes Only we know Those songs What? But I don't feel like going home. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm coming back. I'm leaving. Me like you. It sounds like these are so much happier. Stop. When I'm with you, I'm so much happier. When I'm with you, I'm so much happier. No, I, I, there's so, I love, okay, but we, <sighs> I already did, actually. That happens. Dude, he ha Wait, how did this song start? Because it started with a piano, right? Like, I didn't imagine that. Like, hold on. High on the this is the same song? Contest. No, wait, 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 wait. No, no, it's not. it is, but it's not. Oh, I love this song because he really had me in the first half. Yeah, they had us the first half. I'm not gonna lie. I hope he's happy. You smile at me and say it's time to go, but I don't feel like going home. That's so cute. All the things that he described, the stupid jokes only we know, the songs we wrote only we know, um, share them, please. You say grass was a dirty drug, you like to preach with a vodka in your mug. Oh, good line. Great line. Wait, what is silver tongues? Air Maxes and silver, what are, are they shoes? To have a silver tongue means to have a tendency to be eloquent and persuasive in speaking. In the context of the line, it could also be referring to a silver colored tongue on Louis's Nike Air Max sneakers. Who knows? Oh, this one live's gonna hit too. I hate him, I love it. She is beauty, we are world class. She is beauty, we are world class. Okay. Louis, stop it. Oh, Louis, what the hell? Conversation is currency. Shapes become language. Where are we? This song is so weird. I can't. I can't. Hey. Genre is this? Surrounded by lights, surrounded by lights, 
That sounds cool. Interesting. Okay, this one is not my favorite. My brain cannot process this song. I think part of it is like this kind of production is the exact kind of production that like spikes my anxiety. Just like that, like, like that constant, uh, it doesn't feel good in my heart. So this one's not really my favorite. I'll be honest with you. It's, it's interesting. It is definitely interesting because my brain cannot process this song to save my life. I gotta take a break because of the fucking Leaf blowers outside. Guys, Louie's album came out. You should really go listen to it. One hour later. The next song we are listening to is a song called Common People. Okay, Louie. Oh, stop with the little acoustic guitar. I came from a good home. A house full of terrorist dreams. That was enough for me. Oh, we. Common people. Nothing's changed. You're here strangers. I think the chorus is my favorite part of the song. It's so pretty. Act like you want of us. Oh, build that. Thank you, Louis. Okay, that song is precious. I assume that song is about like his hometown and where he's from because it starts out exactly saying, I came from a good home. I think he's singing also like common people. Like I think he's singing about the people from his hometown and going back there and kind of going back to his roots and getting away from spotlight and fame and all of that. This one's sweet though. It's really wholesome. <laughs> the next song is Angels Fly. Nothing really matters. Mm. Nothing really I'm trying to wrap my head around the meaning of this one. Does it make you feel small? Yeah. Oh, bigger than me, Loki. Oh. Okay, outro. No, I like that one. I think that one's gonna take a second to grow on me, but I know I'm gonna love it. I didn't attach to it immediately, but I know I will. That's one of those ones I'm like, eh, just give it time. I feel like I don't know exactly what it's the song is about. How? Because it sounds like there's almost a fight, but like we're putting that off until tomorrow because right now, I, what is, I don't know. I don't know exactly what this song means, but I know it gives off comfort vibes. I mean, just saying, you'll be okay, we can talk tomorrow. I'm on my way with some time to borrow. If every star is an eye in the sky, you'll see angels fly. I don't know what this song means. Please let me know. The next song that we're getting into is called Holding On To Heartache. I have a feeling I'm gonna like these last two a lot, but we'll see. You said I'm holding on Ooh. to heartache. Ooh. You said I wear it like a crown. Creates the strangest feeling. Just slowly waiting for the end. All I melodies, vocals. You should be staring at the sky. The birds just passing by. Love that line. I called you twice, but then regretted it and changed my number. The Ooh. questions that I'd ask you, where did it all go wrong? There's endless versions of the thing that keeps me drifting back to darkness. The writing! Birds just passing by, love. You know the party's over. Oh! Like, kind of like yelling a little bit. I love that. The space between us just comes oh, the bridge. We're gonna talk about the bridge in a second because holy shit. Holding on to I love the melody in the chorus. Oh, I love this one. I love it. Staring at the sky, the birds just passing by. Oh, shit. Yes. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, that's one of my favorite tracks. I love this one for so many reasons. First of all, it's just kind of like my sound. The writing is so good. Can we talk about the bridge? Let's talk about the bridge. You know the party's over when you're standing in an empty space alone. I love that kind of metaphor for like, you're all alone and it's all over. Like the same kind of metaphor people use when it's like, 
when you're in the club and the lights come up kind of a thing. Time can always heal you if you let it make its way into your bones. Nothing's ever easy. To be honest, I'm not easy on myself. But this last section too, the second that I see you, the space between us just comes flooding back. Oh, what a good line. You know those people where like, they hurt you and you feel all that pain, but then you've had enough time away from them where it's like, okay, like I feel healed. But you know the second that you have any interaction with them, like it's all just gonna come back and it's all just gonna hurt again. That is exactly what I feel coming out of that like little couplet right there. <sighs> and I love it. Love the melody on the chorus. I just like, I already am addicted to the chorus. I already wanna sing the chorus. It's just, this one's so good. Last song on the album, the one that I kind of claimed um, to begin with is a song called That's The Way Love Goes. I am so curious to hear where this song goes. <laughs> A bug? Can you shoo? I'm trying to listen to Louie. It already sounds pretty, okay? Here are some words I know that you don't want to hear. I think she's moved on, mate. It's almost been a year. We haven't seen you yet. We've given you your space. Pick up the phone, cause now it's time you let to say. That's the way, that's the way love goes. Oh, shut up. No, I knew. Oh, that's no, way, no, no, no. Way. We're going out to end up somewhere where we regret. In this town, it's easy to forget. Stop it. When I cuss you, when you bleed, that's when you're feeling it the most. Yeah. That's the way, that's the way love goes. Ooh. Ooh. Why would you do that? I'm not gonna ask you, but we'll make sure you're okay. Who oh. cares if it's lost anyway? That's the way, that's the way love goes. Oh, why'd you finish it on that though? This song kind of lyrically reminds me of Told You So by Little Mix, and that's one of my favorite Little Mix songs. Oh, in the, the line, remember when you told me I should give it time? Well, here's a chance for you to take your own advice. Nobody ever takes their own advice. I think that is like the most annoying thing. I always have said this, like when, when I've, you know, been in this situation, you know, I've had friends say to me, oh, it just takes time. And it's the most annoying thing to hear. It is so annoying for so many reasons. And if you've been there, you get it, but it's so true. As much as that's the last thing you want to hear when you're in that situation, it's just, it's true. It's kind of like a closure song, but it also hurts at the same time. All right, guys, we did it. We listened to Louis Tomlinson's brand new album, Faith in the Future. And yeah, it was a good album. <laughs> This album, I think it's really, really cool with this album because at first, like when I listened to the first few tracks, I was like, oh, this is going to be really different. When I listened to the singles, I was like, it's going to be really different. And there are tracks that like definitely are new sounds for Louis are new areas of music that Louis has not explored before. But there's a lot of songs on here that also remind me of Walls and kind of would even fit onto that album possibly. But I think one of the things I love about it, it's not one of those albums where you finish listening to it and you can't like distinguish the songs in your brain. Looking at the track list, like these songs to me were very different. I look at the tracks and I'm like, I remember the vibe of each of the songs individually and what they sounded like, which is not always true. Sometimes you finish an album and you're like, oh, they all sounded the same and I can't remember which song is which, not with this album. Silver Tongues, I, I think that might be one of my favorites on the album just because it makes you think it's gonna be this like slower, sadder song and then out of nowhere, it's the complete 180 opposite. I'm excited to listen to this one more. I think it's cool, like the first few tracks, you know, you've got the, the rock vibe at the beginning, you've got the sad, slow vibes, you've got the calm comfort vibes. You always get the comfort vibes with Louis. I truly mean it when I say listening to his music always just feels like a hug. It just feels like warmth. It just feels like calm, happiness, and comfort. And it means the world to me, dude. Defenseless is still one of my favorite songs by Louis. Perfect now though, that song is the definition of comfort and love, okay? It just is. But I love this. I really did. If you want to see my ranking of Faith in the Future by Louis Tomlinson, you can check that out over on Instagram. I've been doing these album ranking reels over there and they're really fun. I really enjoy doing them. So if you want to see my full album ranking, it is under the reels tab on Instagram at the.caitlin.marie. You can check it out over there if you want to. But yeah, thank you guys so damn much. I can't believe we just got Louis's new album. Um, his tickets go on sale in 40 minutes. Am I going to get one? Probably not, but I hope you do. I hope you did. I hope you, I hope you're going to see Louis. Let me know. Let me know in the comments if you're going to see Louis Tomlinson on tour. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you. I appreciate you so damn much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!